sell the Hello friends and welcome to EEE Wolf, the YouTube channel dedicated to electrical and electronic engineering students. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to use Micro C Pro for P. We are going to move through the basics of Micro C Pro for P compiler. As you can see, this is the working environment. This is the IDE, the interface, the user interface, and Micro C Pro for P is a software a compiler used to program PIC microcontrollers. There are other uh, softwares, there are other compilers like CCS and MPLAB and many others. But today we are going to see the basics of Micro C Pro for PIC. I usually recommend Micro C for Pro for PIC because it's actually simple. The syntax is very simple. It's not complicated. If you are interested in downloading Micro C Pro for PIC, I have put the link in the video description to download and install Micro C Pro for PIC completely free and the full version. And also, if you are interested, you are going to see in the video description how to download and install Proteus 8.10 full version. So let's get started. In this project, we are going to see how to make a LED blink, an LED, and we are going to use for simulation the Proteus software in which we are going to use a microcontroller to load the code that we are going to write here with Micro C Pro for P. So to do that, we simply go to new project. We go to new project to create a new project and we click next. After that, we are going to select the name of our project and for that I'm going to put it to be LED Blink. Then I'm going to choose the path where I want it to be stored. I'm going to store it in the desktop into a folder I have created which is called LED Blink. I'll click on OK and I'm going to choose the microcontroller. This is the list. There is a list of microcontrollers so I'm, I'm going to use the 16F, the PIC 16F877 and click next and finish. So this is the, work, the working environment. As I said, the syntax is very simple. It's actually based on C++. This is the IDE. You have your file, edit, view, project and so on. We have here open project and many other things. In order to do that, we are simply going to first of all define the ports of our microcontrollers. We are going to make the LED blink on port B. For that, I'm going to make port B initialized. Well, I'm going to make port B to function as an output pin. And to do that, the syntax is simply to write trace B equal to zero and uh, end with uh, a semicolon and this zero simply I usually know it as zero is like O for output but if I put one here it's like I for input so I want this port to be an output port I simply make I write trace B equals zero the next thing is I'm going to use a while one loop I'm going to use a while one loop and it's the loop through which our program is going to run forever and ever. Therefore, in this loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all make the port, I'm going to make port B.RB0 because I'm going to use uh, pin RB0 in B0 for to control our LED, I'm going to put it 1, then I'm going to delay, millisecond delay, or I can write it in small letters, delay milliseconds, I'm going to use the 1000, so it's actually for a 1 second delay, but the syntax, in this case this syntax is not case sensitive, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, it's in capital letters or small letters. Then after that, I'm going to 
use that same for b again dot rb0 and uh, now I'm going to put in 0 and delay again let me use capital letters here delay milliseconds 1000 which means it's going to have a uh, one second delay so basically what's happening is that we have our project this is the main the main project and I've configured here the port B as an output and while one loop it means the program is going to run in this loop forever and ever it's going to make to give a high voltage level at the output of pin B0 later on it's going to delay and after it's going to give a low voltage to uh, pin B0 then delay again for one second and start back so that's basically it when that's done I can now come here and run or I can simply press here to build and as you can see there is no there is no warning here there is no writing in red all is in blue and uh, here in black so if there is no red it means the program has been built on successfully and there is no problem the next thing is that we are going to use our software because it has if we move to the desktop right now we are going to see our led link we are going to see that it has been compiled here and uh, there are many file extensions that are there so the next thing we are going to do is to go to Proteu software and once there we are going to create a new project so we simply come on new project and we are going to create a new project and put our lab I'm going to name it link and I'm going to give it I'm going to save it in the same file location I saved the other one I select the folder and I press next 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 and finish and once in Proteus I come to the device mode and I'm going to search my components I'm going to start with the big microcontroller 16F 877 I select it then I'm going to take a LED red LED I select it I'm going to use a resistor in order to protect my LED from being damaged I select the resistor and then I can close this I'm going to put my microcontroller I'm going to put the LED right here and I get the resistor and I put it here then I find the ground and I put the ground here I connect the ground to the cathode and the resistor right here to the anode and this is as you can see our microcontroller is the pic 16 f 877 and this is RB0 the pin which is used to blink our LED then the next thing we are going to do is actually to include an oscillator but for simulation it's not it's not a must to include the oscillator but uh, if you really want to build the circuit you are going to need the oscillators the next thing we have to do is to load the program we have compiled into the big microcontroller and to do that we simply double click on the microcontroller and we come here and we search we search we go to the desktop and the desktop we go to led blink and here is the hex file this is the hex file and that's what we are going to double click to load into our microcontroller and we click ok and that is it i'm going to, to change the value of this resistor i'm going to put it in the 1k after that the next thing will simply to come here and launch and we see how our circuit is behaving 
after a period of one second it goes off and after that it comes on again but now as you can see it's not actually real time because of uh, CPU loading and uh, in order for us to really see the effect we have to we can change the delay time we can use 100 milliseconds instead of, of 1000 milliseconds so to do that we simply come back to the code and we are going to remove this we are going to use 100 and divide the time by 10 and simply build again then we go to produce and we do same we click ok because the file part is already chosen and we hit play and as you can see our LED is blinking as you can see the LED is blinking So this is all for the basics of Micro C Pro for Peak Tutorials for Absolute Beginners. If you are new to this channel, two things to do, don't forget to first of all subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell. Secondly, to share the videos with others because this video can also help others. If the video has been of great help to you, don't forget to write down your comments in the comment section. Thank you very much.